Welcome hey everyone, back. welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. I made it out of the depths. Yeah, he got his souls back. There was a got my souls back. Made it out of the depths. It wasn't fun. I dropped into the basilisk pit and I thought all was lost. Yeah, we 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 did get lost for a minute. But we made it. But now I made it back with twenty eight thousand souls. So we're gonna buy the bellowing dragon crest ring. What did the other ring do? Regular great soul arrow. It boosts length of sorcery effects uh, so but i want to boost their potency yeah so i was i was gonna say like really hard to boost the length of damage <laughs> well, that'd be neat yeah sorry havel's ring but let's see 60 i'm still mid roll don't have to change anything hooray hurrah a tune so we're gonna have half as many soul arrows let's add great soul arrows so we have regular soul arrows great soul arrows and great heavy soul arrows Yay. Yeah. So let's go to the Darkroot Basin because I want to try to fight the Hydra and get the crest, uh, the crown of dusk. Okay. Hey, the people are here. Oh my God, more bros. There's an event. Hmm. Cool. I feel like these people legit mm. get angry at you if you try to talk to her and you're hollered. He's like, don't you talk to my lady like looking like that. Mm, what have we here? And this man has a tiny head. You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. Least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. Oh, never mind. It has nothing to do with that because you're not hollow. You might scare her off for good. Howdy. You are undead as well. We've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. They're on a pilgrimage. They don't really... Give shit about you. Praise be to Yevon. We'll see them again later. You talked about Yevon. I did. They're on a pilgrimage. Like you are in like, Final like, Fantasy X. Like Yevon or New Yevon? Hashtag New Yevon. I don't know. I, was, there, team, was there a New Yevon in I'm that? I'm Team New Yevon. Of course there's a New Yevon. I, man. In Final Fantasy X-2. Oh. Man, I didn't play X-2. I barely played so X-2. So you keep oh. to the old gods. Yes. Oh yeah, that is on my list of games to like actually sit down and do. Ten two. Yeah. A lot of uh, it is just ten, because ten two, and I actually want to say I finished a Final Fantasy game. You've never beaten a Final Fantasy. I beat Final Fantasy one, like on Game Boy. Well, but, you did it. I mean, good job. I've never done that. I mean, I love I Final Fantasy. I have beaten seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, and fifteen. I've beaten Final Fantasy one a bunch. I mean, I've beaten four a bunch. I've beaten got three a couple right times. I beat, I beat vanilla 14. Whoa. That's an MMO. You can't beat an MMO. I mean, I watched the credits. All right. Well, so, I guess you beat it then. I beat the story. The yeah. fact that you played vanilla 14 is painful. I mean, I meant like... Um, Realm Reborn. Yeah, Realm vanilla. Reborn. That's really different. Well, I mean, I, I meant like before expansions. Like I beat that story. Everyone did. I didn't. I did. I, I love Final Fantasy 14. It, I thought it was something new and different until I got to end game rating, realized it's just vertical progression, and then I got bored again because it's the same thing as any MMO. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's why I, I mean, every, like, every MMO, MMO like grind, grinding in game for vertical progression and gear ends, it just gets fucking boring. Yeah, like, it's especially with the way that uh, 14 did their currency for the in game stuff. Like once once that gear came out, you could only earn. Why are one shotting these guys now? Yeah, it gets really convenient. You could only earn so much of that currency, like a week. That's dumb. Yeah. All right, so if you go up here in the dark root garden, down here is the basin, which we will be going here now because I'm going to attempt to fight the hydra. Do you just jump? No. That'd be fun. Do a flip, but I'm not gonna do that. Yet. You do have to watch your footing here. Darkroot Basin. There's very few enemies in here. I think there's only like maybe four or five enemies in this whole area. It's a twinkling lizard! Dude, fuck him up! I will. Yes. Two twinkling titanite and a titanite chunk. Um, so I know those are upgrade materials, but our sword's pretty buff right now, yeah? So like, what more could we do to it? Uh, more numbers. <laughs> nothing until I get... Um, I'm not gonna do anything to it until I get the enchanted ember and some blue chunks, but that'll probably never happen because before then, once we get to enter Londo, I'm gonna switch to the butterfly horn, mm -hmm. and then once I get the Lord Vessel, I'm gonna go to Seath first, get the Moonlight Greatsword, and that'll be my in-game weapon. 
There is a black. But you could get it up to like plus fifteen, right? Plus ten magic or plus five enchanted. Ah, uh, what's better? Enchanted's better because it scales off of int better, but it requires. Oh, uh, I thought. More serious uh -oh. mats. There's a black knight with a halberd down here. All right. Requires bravery, and that's the grass crest shield there, which is incredible. That's the one you said you're gonna equip, right? Yeah. Uh, my friend Chris told me he he does the same thing. Boop. He doesn't use shields, no. but he equips the 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 grass yes. crest for its effect. I'm hitting him 140 on his shield, by the way. 467. Oh my god, he exploded. I got the halberd on an int character. And a blue chunk. Well, you might as well respect yourself and, and go for that. That's what you said. No, but it's like... that good. I'm too... That good it is that good, but I'm too it's far gone. change everything. I'm too far gone. So what... So what... There's no respect on 245 base damage. So, uh... 32 strength, 18 dex. I have 10 strength, 11 dex. We're starting over. So, whoa. I did get a blue chunk. You did. S but I still don't think that's really going to matter. All right, there. Let's get the Grass Crest Shield. Let's see if I can equip it without having to change my armor. Grass Crest Shield, when equipped, whether you're using it or not, uh, increases your stamina upgrade rate. That's good. It's incredible. Like you should have took your staff off. Yeah, I was about to I say. I know. I'm going to put it back on. I am just want it in the first slot. I haven't upgraded either of those. 33. Yep, I'm fat. Brr. We got to change something. Something's uh, got to give. Let's change some gloves. Uh, I need to shed only about a pound and a half, really. See, you, as is the uh, gargoyle helmet heavier than the elite armor helmet? The elite. No, armor. it's it's lighter and better. Oh. Still fat roll. Thirty-one point nine. Okay, I need to drop another half pound. So one point three or lower. Back to crimson gloves. Sure. Back to crimson gloves. Wow! Immediately to fast roll. Yeah, it was just that. That's stupid. It All right, makes see, no sense. So now, see, uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of attacks. Now watch how quickly my stamina regens. Wow! And it's nothing but arrows pointing up. Yep, I like arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fan. I of, like simple graphics. I'm a, <laughs> I like I like swords. You like swords? Yeah. Well, we're gonna kindle this bonfire. I was definitely I don't like a bunch of like just arbitrary symbols that I have to decipher what they mean. It's like, well, what's an eyeball with a rose growing out of it? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Arrows pointing up means well, something's getting better. Obviously, that's poison. Like, ooh. I mean, though. If all right, let's see what I can do against the Hydra. If you were a character in a fantasy like book, game, whatever, what what would your weapon be? I actually really love the Moonlight Greatsword as a weapon. It's what, so what cool is, looking. What is it uh, do? A sword or bow and arrow. Okay. Oh, like, just what type of weapon well, would yeah. I use? Well, yeah, I mean, like, you could specify, but I was just like, because I, I was thinking In real life, it. if I if melee combat was a thing in real life, I would become a strong boy and I'd use a big axe or something. Yeah. There's more golems than I remember. Oh. I mean, I, I didn't know. It, seemed, it sounded like a really general question, I mean, so yeah. I didn't want to yeah, yeah. say I mean, it, it was, but, like, I, um... This is gonna do no damage to him. Cause like uh, you were talking about. Oh, oh really? okay, yeah, no, it's really? gonna, it ain't gonna do any damage. They're resistant to magic. Yeah, but you got big magic. Yeah, I do have big boy magic. Um, cause what made me think of is it is that a blue chunk? Was uh, we were talking about the arrows, <laughs> and um, is it all coming together for you? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, we were talking about the arrows. I'll go them into attack. And I'll do the me, big. It made me think about um. Uh oh. Oh, Ooh, that magic missile sucked. Um, it made me think about when I first watched Lord of the Rings, and I thought bow and arrow, bows and arrows were the coolest shit I'd ever seen in my life. And I, w I always wanted to use that in anything that I a ever. Bow and arrow. Yeah. So, but now as I've grown older, I'm There's definitely. The Hydra. I'm definitely more of a big boy sword guy. Big boy. So oh, he's, hey, he's, firing he's firing water bolts. He's firing water bolts. You found a way to get hit by that. I know, didn't I? Though? When, when I was growing up, like using swords. And like a sword he killed the golem for me. Was my main thing. Like that's all I ever did on characters. But now, I always go for like a bow and arrow, it some range. It could also be that like I'm so sick and tired of seeing archers and everything. Um, because Legolas I think was the first big one, and then suddenly in every post-apocalyptic setting story, 
the there's a bow guy. There, yeah, there's a bow guy, and like I, I would like, want right, to be yeah, guy get into the hunter. I would want to be bowman. Yeah, and then Hunger Games made Ooh. it like super popular. I never saw any of the Hunger Games. Do you, I? Wa I saw all but the last movie. I, think I read I, all the books. I think I saw like. All right, two or you three have to watch out in this one. All right, there is a beach past the uh, threshold of the water, Fuck but you can't. You can fall just straight off. You can barely see the line, but you've got to get up here and goad him in, and goad him in to uh, night armor, regular night armor. He does that attack. And then you whop at his head. Gosh, I don't think you hit him. I did once, not does, enough to chop a head off. Does each head have a uh, health bar? No, they have Get up on health. his back. Get up on the Hydra's back. I'm doing pretty good damage. This oh, he oh, got one. One's yep. done. Oh, but these two are going to grow back. Two are going to grow out of it. No, not this Hydra. What? Well, then he's not a real Hydra. Hashtag, a, hashtag fake Hydra. He's a real Hydra. Oof. And I need to not get hit because then that uh, affects my uh, my hit. I wonder if that blood stain that affects my health when I take the damage. That I wonder if that blood stain's an indicator of where the edge is. I got a couple hits off. That's fine. I wish it had like the big, the big health bar. Yeah, like he's an actual boss. Yeah, right. No, nope. the respect. The Hydra is a mini boss. Oh, there's the line. I've been getting a little close to it. All right, there's All right. three heads down. Got them below half. I didn't think this would be so doable with my current setup. Oh yeah, I gotta keep watching. Oof, and he did the water attack like a bitch. Alright. Oof. Oh, thanks for putting that head there, you idiot! Is it just Fucking a matter of stupid. knowing where every head goes with, with, with that attack? All the heads have their own certain pattern that they'll do, but it depends on where he rotates his body, where they'll actually end up. Oh my god. Like, wow. See, that wasn't, what? that wasn't fair. That's, what a dick hole. I think he was cheating. I think he still got the head though. Yep, and he's pretty close to death. But the bad thing about this is for casters, I don't think you can hit him with magic at all unless you aim for the heads, which is dumb. Well, I was it, wondering about uh, that, like why you weren't even attempting to shoot it. Uh, also, like, isn't that what you're doing? Aiming for the heads? Uh, I need to chop Wait. off the last head. I got it. I don't do quite enough damage to uh Oh yeah, I remember the last hit always goes really close to the fucking edge. I've never actually seen this fight. Hmm, it's annoying. I'm gonna see if I can do anything with magic because he's constantly just gonna go over there. Oh! 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 What up? Oh my gosh! And that's how we're gonna end the episode. Hey! I got a dragon scale and the dust crown ring. Dude, I was that actually... Was, that was, was dope as fuck. See, I can't see this line that you're talking about. So, like, I was really concerned that whenever you... Right get, there. That, yeah, there it is. Where? You really you don't see you it? Don't see the oh, it's I a sharp cutoff. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah, will instantly yeah, just yeah, fall yeah. to I your death. I see it. I see it now. But I couldn't see it before, primarily because I was looking at that big fuck Hydra. But whenever you did that emote, I, I thought you were going to walk off. I... 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 <laughs> That would have been perfect. That would have been the best way to end it. But all right, uh, like, comment, subscribe for that awesome, yeah. awesome, great, heavy soul arrow that we just saw. We that did was it. sick. And I will see you next time. Later.